from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted villain. No! I am your host. All right, John, our telephone number. You're going to need 820 number 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. We're going to do something this hour unprecedented on the Tom Likas show. Unprecedented. You know, for years, and I mean. The 10 years or so that we have been uh, giving classes in Lycus 101. That people have suggested other flavors of Lycus 101. They've suggested things like, they, they, these, these are their own terms for it. You know, how about Lycus 201 for those of us who already have a lot of experience? How about Lycus 401 for married guys looking to get laid? How about Lycus 301? I mean, I, I, this is the most common email we get other than actual questions for 101. And we have resisted every one of those specialty twists on Lycus 101. Because uh, it's special, and we like to have it in its own special little place where it is. Until now. Because... Uh, I know that some of our listeners, especially here in the state of California, are all of a sudden finding themselves in deep trouble. And I'm talking about, that's right, gays and lesbians. As you know, this week... Gays and lesbians finally have the right to get married in the state of California. And the front page of the Los Angeles Times talks about the hundreds of people who showed up on the first day to get married. And I'm sure this has been a very joyous day for many. And just so you guys understand where I'm coming from, I have said for years I have no objection to gay and lesbian marriage. None. You know, you have every bit as much right to be tortured and miserable as straight people. And I say, if you want it that badly, you need to find out what getting married's all about. <laughs> you really do. You'll find out soon enough. So while some people were very excited and ran right down to City Hall and signed up, some of you are terrorized some of you by the way I have always said this has been the perfect crime and in most of America it still is the perfect crime to be gay or lesbian if you happen to have a quote unquote relationship with somebody and that person starts to get a little too friendly with you you can always say hey I would love to get married but we can't it's illegal in fact, I want to start a campaign to make marriage illegal for straight people. Let all the gays and lesbians get married. As a straight person who's been divorced four times, I say enough is enough. When you've hit yourself on the head with a ball-peen hammer this many times, it's time to act. I say stop us before we kill again. Really. Let's just make it illegal for straight people to get married. Leave it to the gays and lesbians who are so enthusiastic about it and who want it so badly. So I know some of you out there have been cruising along, and I didn't mean that as a pun. You've been cruising along in life, in your relationship, and you've been thinking to yourself, well, they'll never make this legal. They'll never do it. 
and now they've done it. Now, Rosie O'Donnell came out, and I, I want to give her credit. She came out with the, so far, the best excuse to keep herself from having to get married. They, they, they've made marriage legal now in uh, to Massachusetts. Of course, you have to establish residency there. And uh, California. And Hawaii, it was on, it was off, it was on. But uh, Rosie O'Donnell said that uh, she wants to get married, but she's not getting married until all 50 states have recognized gay marriage. And that keeps uh, Rosie uh, safely single right up until her death. You know, I'm just, all Rosie needs is Mississippi and Alabama to sign off on it, and then she's ready to get married. <laughs> that is a great excuse. Kudos to Rosie O'Donnell. I'll tell you what. You know what? That's what I'm getting married again when they recognize gay marriage in all 50 states. That's the next time I'm getting married. Until my gay and lesbian brethren can get married just like me, I refuse. I'm going to show solidarity. But seriously, I know there are people out there who are gay and lesbian who are now quaking in their boots because uh, their relationships are now about to turn into uh, nag fests where you're going to be nagged into uh, doing something you don't want to do. Or you're going to feel obligated to do it because now you can get married, therefore you should get married. So I figure if there was ever a need for a specific group to get specific help in the Lycus 101 area. Today is the day. So I have decided, and we've never done it before, I have decided here to have a special edition of Lycus 101 strictly for gay men and lesbians. And, uh, of course, you know the you know the basics of Lycus 101, and for as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if you're straight or gay, the rules pretty much apply. You know, the purpose of dating is to get laid. Don't spend more than $40 on a date. Stay away from single mothers, or for that matter, single fathers. And um, when you are paying to uh, be on a date, never, ever, 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 ever let them text anybody or be on the cell phone while they're hanging out with you. Because that just means they're going to bail on you and go be with them later in the evening. It's that simple. So if you are gay or lesbian and you have got questions about relationships, about dating, and specifically about getting laid, and if you have uh, any question about trying to avoid gay marriage, or if you have got an anecdote to tell us about attempts to get you married, now that gay and lesbian marriage is legal in California, it's history-making, it's precedent-setting, it's the first time we've done a version of Like Us 101 for gays and lesbians, and now is your chance to call in and be a part of it. John Like It. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Tom, I just wanted to call up and just congratulate you on being the number one pick. It's the Tom Like It Show. Top like his show from Los Angeles. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Right. It's never been done before, but it appears to be an emergency. It's like it's one of one for gays and lesbians at one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, Cynthia, you're on like it's one hundred one with your professor. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Cynthia. How are you doing? Do you care? Of course I do. I'm doing great. Yeah, Tom. I'm. Oh my God, I just don't know how to get out of the situation with the whole gay marriage thing. It's it's been horrible ever since that movie Chuck and Larry. I, I haven't got her off my back. Since. The movie Chuck and Larry, that uh, that lousy movie with Adam Sandler. Yeah, it's ever since that stupid movie, it's been like nonstop. Oh, let's get married. Let's get married. Let's get married. Psycho, I don't know. Really? Yeah, I just, I don't know. And, and Tom, my question is, how do I get her to stop? 
Well, you can't change other people. As I tell everybody on Like Us 101, you can't change other people. You can only change your girlfriend. And in fact, I, I see you're on the screen. You're 21 years old. What are you doing with a girlfriend? Oh, man. Tom, I don't know. It's just... She was there at the moment, and uh, it just seemed right. Well, it did, but uh, clearly it was wrong, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I can see that now. Is she living with you? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Why did you do that? Oh, Tom, you know, parents and uh, religion your, your, and your, stuff. Wait yeah, a minute, your parents like, wanted her to move in with you? No, no, it was the fact that uh, I got kicked out because of because of I wanted to be with her and uh, the whole religious beliefs. So I was like on my own, and so it just seemed financially available. At Couldn't the time. you get a roommate? Uh, yeah, but I wasn't thinking at the time. Okay, well now you need to start thinking about where you're going to live next. Yeah, true. <laughs> so that the solution is you need to find another place to live. Yeah, man. <laughs> You're not going to get her to stop doing this, okay? Uh, there's no way. You just can't change other people. Right. So you have to change your address. <laughs> oh. Now, now that you are 21, did you finish college? Did you go to college? I I'm still going right now, currently. Okay. When are you done? Um, in two years. Oh, in two years. All right. Yeah. And uh, uh, where are you going to school? Right now, California Arts. All right. Uh, well, you need to find, maybe you need to check the bulletin boards out on campus. You need to find a roommate. Okay. And you, you need to go there. Okay. There are also uh, services that will find you roommates. If you Google around uh, uh, for uh, Los Angeles or Southern California, there are actual websites and companies that do that. Oh. Some of them okay. actually check the credit of potential roommates. Okay. And uh, this idea that people need to start relationships that are ill-advised just because they can't afford their own apartment. And I think with the bad economy, we're going to see more people making stupid decisions like this. Right. It's very important for people to remember, you can get a roommate without having sex with them. Okay. <laughs> and that means you're free to have sex with whomever you want. Right. And you are free to have relationships with whomever you want. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I, I, you know, I actually I'm thinking of considering that because uh, I'm really tired of it. <laughs> I just don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I understand. Well, you know what to do now. Yeah. So now you need, you need to make a game plan. When is your lease up, Cynthia? Uh, until November. All right, that gives you some time to figure this out. Yeah, and to you, save him some money. <laughs> time to start shopping for a roommate. Yeah. You know, and that's going to be it. You're going to go. Yeah. Can you handle it? I believe so. I think I'm stronger than before now. Good. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, Cynthia. Bye. Appreciate the call. It's Gay and Lesbian Like Us 101 here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's this hour only, so dial now. Carolyn. On the Tom Likas show, hello. Tom, how are you? I'm okay, Carolyn. Uh, Tom, so what is this all about? We're only going to be equal to the other 50% of the divorces, Tom. Uh, well, that's exactly what's going to happen. Nobody's been hearing me, and uh, all you people rushing to the altar to become the uh, first uh, gays and lesbians to get married. you got to learn the it hard way. It certainly wasn't me, Tom. It wasn't me. I mean, he considers I, us married as it is. You guys had the perfect situation. God. You screwed it up. You're telling me, Tom, it's not fun anymore. I'd give anything if they told me that it was illegal for straight people to get married. Are you kidding me? You're just going to have to go gay, man. <laughs> but no, that, no, I, that, well, I'm not going to take it that far. But uh, I, I hear you, Tom. And by the way, going gay doesn't save me in California anymore. No, it doesn't. And so the bits and pieces you're allowed to marry here and there, it's just ridiculous. I know. What's going to happen? This is not fun. I've been with her for seven years. I live with her. I've asked her to go on, and she can do better. It's We're already married. I, it's like there's no excitement, huh? No excitement anymore? No. Now, have you uh, been sniffing I around? Pieces. I just can't think of anybody better at the time. I'm pretty. I'm getting up there. Today's my birthday, Tom. Well, happy and, birthday, Carolyn. Thanks. 
Um, now, have you been but, sniffing around for new meat out there? What have you been doing? Not at all. Really? I can't, don't have time. She lives with me. She Now we're moving out together. We've lived together for five years. Where would I go? I'm too tired all the time and bored. Well, if you're so bored, maybe you need to get out. It's hard. I'm so used to it. I understand. I think we've all been there. I've been divorced four times myself, so I, I know what that's like. But sometimes you just have to, you know, you got to rev yourself up. You got to start thinking about uh, how good it's going to be in the future she when does you can do everything for me. She pays for everything. She takes care of me. I mean, oh. it's kind of hard. You see? Do you have a job? I do have a job. But all and that we all love you here at work as well. Can I say where? Sure, go ahead. Unisport. Very they nice. Get a pieces. Good. They list good listeners every day. Loyal. Fantastic. Awesome. It's been fun talking to you, Tom, and that's my issue. I don't know how to leave. Well, and Carolyn, I, don't, I can't find reasons to leave, except that I'm bored. Freedom. Well, that's a good reason you're bored. You think it'll be more fun, really? Are you kidding me? I wouldn't know. I have been married now for years, and let me tell you, it's fantastic. Yeah? I live alone. I do what I want. You're successful, Tom. But you don't even have to be that successful. It's not the money that makes me happy. It's, time alone doesn't cost you anything. And yeah. you don't have to spend anything to be, to enjoy your time alone. Your work for it, Tom. I would say, yeah. let me tell you something. Um, you know, I, I think it costs more money to be in a couple than to be alone. Yeah, I agree. And you know how I know that? Because I had so much extra money from living alone, I bought a second house. I bet. And that's what I'm saying. Well, thank you, Tom. Carolyn, thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. A special gay and lesbian edition of Like Us 101. Because, my goodness, you think that was good news that gays and lesbians can get married? I, I'm all for equality. I'm all for equality. But boy, that would mess up my uh, that would mess up my life if suddenly I couldn't use that as an excuse anymore. Holy cow! Let us say hello here to Michael on the Tom Likas show. It's Likas One Hundred and One, a special edition. Hello. Hey Tom, how are you? I'm doing great. And I do care. No, I'm glad you're doing this because I listen all the time, but I can't call because I don't like women. Oh, I understand. But yeah, understand that uh, you can call the regular like us 101 anytime and we will take your call. Well, and here is the issue. And I'm thinking you could help me because now I'm breaking some rules, but I'm not breaking some rules. Okay. I'm 21 years old. I'm 25 years old. Right. And I've been with my boyfriend who's 50 for about five years. Now, he must make a good living, I take it. I, here's the thing, though. I make an equally good living. My goodness. Then what, what? As a gay man, what possible reason do you have to be there? Well, here's the thing. Like, it's good. It's safe. It's fun. I mean, we're monogamous. We're really? relatively happy. And, you know, we live a pretty fast, pretty fun lifestyle. Yes, but? But um, now, I mean, you never think about getting because it's just not an option. You know what I mean? Getting married? Yeah, your phone cut out there, but I think you said getting married, not an option? Yeah, it's just, it was never an option, so you never think about it, you never consider it. And then it becomes an option, and then all of our friends are getting married, and I look at this and I go, I have no desire to get married. And I don't blame you. Now, have you had any pressure to get married besides peer pressure? No, it's mostly peer pressure, but it's like we both look at it. I mean, especially me. It's like, you know, who knows where this will go? I'm dead in 20 years you know and i'll still only be 45 yeah. so it's kind of it's kind of a thing and it's like you know i the fact is i could take care of myself and take care of myself really well so if it's fun if it's good now but i have no desire to get married is that a sign that you should get out of it or should you just enjoy it until it gets you should enjoy you should ride that pony until you can't ride it anymore and you know what? I leave on July 1st for a one-month trip around the world, so I'm definitely riding that pony. I'll bet you'll be riding another pony. Oh, God, if he makes me, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Tom, for your help. I love listening to you, and keep up the good work. Thank you, Michael.
Appreciate the call. It's the Tom Likas Show, a special gay and lesbian edition of Likas 101 at 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jeanette on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Daddy. How are you? Doing okay, dear. I'm calling. I think it's fabulous that you have us on for an hour. My girlfriend and I just got engaged in February, and now that we are able to, we don't want to get married. Really? I see. I think there's a lot of people who wanted to get married because society said you couldn't. Exactly. And I think neither of us thought it would ever happen. So we were okay with that. And now that it's happened, we feel pressured by our family and neither of us want to get married. Well, you have every right to, 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 to say that, to tell the truth. Yes. Because the I truth is reasonable. Ring. You, oh, well, you know, you could wear the ring. I know. We're having our engagement party on Saturday. So do you have, like, an event planned? We have an engagement party on Saturday, and then we were supposed to plan the wedding after that, but I think we were just going to put it off until it came to that point, and now I think it's going to have to happen sooner. Well, I, my opinion is that if you don't want to get married, you shouldn't do it. It shouldn't matter what other people say. Yeah, and we both love you and listen to you every day, and I think we're going to have to find a way out of it. I, I think the truth is the best way out, because b before all the words came out of your mouth, I completely understood where you were coming from. You wanted to get married because you couldn't. Now that you can, uh, now you don't feel the same way anymore. You still feel the same way about each other, so uh, what's the big deal? Exactly, exactly. But I just want to call and say thank you, and I love you so much. I have such a straight girl crush on you. Oh, I love that. Yes. Oh, if you ever decide to go the other way, you know my number. Oh, I do. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, dear. Bye. Bye. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. In case you're just tuning in, you know, it became legal now for gays and lesbians to get married in the state of California. And it struck me there might be some emergency help needed. And so your professor is stepping in with a special gay and lesbian edition of Like Us 101. If you're trying to avoid marriage, I think that's a big deal right now. Or you have any other questions for your professor, it's gays and lesbians only at 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Larry, on the Tom Likas Show, it's a special edition of Likas 101. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? It's good to talk to you. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to say, I listen to your show all the time, so there are a lot of gay and lesbian people that do listen to you and take your advice to heart. I finally decided to listen to what you had to say. I just dumped the bitch, got out of a relationship. Uh, it was only together nine months, but we'd go out. He'd be on his phone texting who knows who. Uh, I'd take care of a lot of the stuff and... You know, I thought about possibly getting married now that the now that it's legal, but just a couple of days ago, um, said nope, forget this, and kicked him out. Look at you, very nice. How does it feel? I actually, it feels great. I have my house back. I can watch what I want on the TV, not worry about who's watching what show, go to bed when I want. Uh, I've already had some friends over for a little bit of activity and not have to worry about when they come over or when they leave or who I'm even talking to. So your advice doesn't apply just to straight guys. It applies to everybody. And I have a number of gay friends, and I just want to say this, that uh, uh, one thing gay people uh, have not thought about, and uh, I know many gay men who have good livings, because many gay men make uh, uh, higher than average incomes. Oh, I'll agree with that. When you get married... Uh, I can tell you as one has been divorced four times, uh, you are essentially opening up that house to be a, uh, a political football if you get divorced. That suddenly what you thought was yours, what you worked for, suddenly will become the property of the other person. Yep, I, I mean, that was, those were thoughts in the back of my mind. It's like, what if we get married? What do I do with my house? I'm the one who bought it, put all the sweat and equity into it. Right. What, you know, what am I going to do with that? But you know what? Don't have to worry about it. And I'm looking at, okay, if I do find another guy, he's not living with me. We'll just date. And that's all that's needed. Perfect. So I appreciate it. Like I said, love your show. Listen to it every day. And here's something I thought I'd never get to ask you, but blow me up, Tom. Here you go, Larry. Tom Likes.
1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. What's at the base of all of this, you know, uh, banging chicks? It's like, it's kind of a biological urge. What's at the base of eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day? <laughs> okay, all right. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, I'm Tom Likas. It's a special gay and lesbian edition of Likas 101. Everybody is celebrating gays and lesbians getting the right to get married. And I've got no problem with them having the right to get married. The only problem is now many gays and lesbians feel pressure to get married. Because they can so I figured uh, some uh, some help was in order here at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. It's one hour only. It's gays and lesbians only. If you've got questions for your professor, this is the time to get them in. Gays and lesbians only, like it's 101, 1-800-5800-TOM. And what would a gay and lesbian edition of Like It's 101 be without our own Holly the Dyke? Holly the Dyke, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Well, have we stuck our foot in it or what? I think so. I'm telling you. The only reason to get married, there is no reason to get married. I no agree. No reason to get married whatsoever. I totally agree. And uh, here, here, here is the only reason I would get married, that my girlfriend is going to sign the house to the two Mercedes over to me so uh her brother couldn't take it from me because he hates me in case she died really or something yeah i see mm -hmm. you know he, he'd put me out and take both of the uh what are they called Becky? <laughs> If the E55 AMG Mercedes, and we live in a, uh, you know, big house, we have two houses. Right. And that would be the only reason to get married. But if we could solve that problem without uh, getting married, we're just going through the legal system. And, like, in case I'm in the hospital and I'm in, like, a vegetative state, I want her to pull the plug. You want to be able to pull the plug? Oh, yeah. I want her, her to be able to Oh, you want her to be able to pull the plug? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't want... You sound like to today you're halfway to a vegetative state, Holly. Is that the case? No, I'm just... Uh, it's just uh, been a bad two weeks. <laughs> Have you been hitting the pipe there? What's going on over there? Well, yeah, you know, a little a little uh, ganja never hurt anybody. There we go. <laughs> when they... Uh, Everybody's jumping up and down, running to the thing to get in line to get a uh, a marriage certificate and <laughs> dance all around with it. Is uh, is uh, is uh, that's like the lemmings were lining up to jump off the cliff. I'm telling you, uh, I'm not. Ju you know, they didn't. We didn't know the the gay people don't know how good they have it. They just want it just because. Uh, you know, they couldn't have it, exactly what you said. And now that they can have it, now they don't want it. But, uh, as I said, I, I'm happy to give up my right to get married today. Hey, me too. <laughs> me too. Because, you know, you can get the, uh, you know, you don't need to get married. You know, it's, you know, Tom, you going home, and, you know, when I listen to you, and I'm like, what the effing life? That's right. That's right. What the life? No, no whining, no nagging, no bitching, no complaining. I'll turn the TV on. I'll watch what I want to watch. I'll take the trash out when I feel like it. And if I want to get laid, it will be with who I want. And you know, you're not coming over, so don't ask who you want, when you want, where That's you want. Exactly right. Right. Eat what you want and, uh, you know, do what the hell you want. And it doesn't take, and you know, believe me, you are going to be having fun way after they have buried these, uh, people that call up and are, oh, Tom, you're so, uh, you're going to be sad your whole life. 
Those are the people that don't. If they had money, they'd be happy. Happy and single. That's right. Since, since they're married and poor, they're going to complain. Right. About you not having a effing blast. That's exactly right. That's so exactly you, right. You and all the boys go and, you know, have parties at the pad and then up at your... A place out where the, the the vines grow and the naked hookers, uh, not hookers. The naked uh, hookers, right. Naked chicks run around uh, the pole, the Mayberry pole. You yeah. Got that stripper pole. You'd like to be and in my bathroom watching that, I'll bet. Man, I'd be in the bath with you. We'd have to scoot over. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we'll split them up. <laughs> I got first dibs. <laughs> go second. I'll let you watch, and right. then uh, and then uh, you know we'll invite Dean, and then if you know you got a couple other cool guys, you know, we'll rock them out. We'll all get drunk, and uh, you, you know, got this all sketched out. Hey, it can be done. I got it all planned. I, I got it all planned. I can tell you have. Wow. Well, Holly the Dyke, there she goes, our very own Holly the Dyke, on our gay and lesbian edition of Like is 101. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred tom Here is Yvette on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. What a pleasure to talk to you. Long time listener. Thank First you. Time caller. Definitely a born lesbian, have been gay my entire life. And uh, unfortunately, the rest of the world doesn't listen to you, Tom. Uh, boy, I, that's how my account—that's how my accountant feels about it. <laughs> really, Tom? Marriage isn't for anyone, straight or gay. It's a long, overlost institution that needs to be abolished. It's I'm, not good for anyone. You know what's amazing to me? Marriage is so conservative and reactionary. It's so amazing to me that so many gays and lesbians want to get married. I am begging, pleading, please take away my right to get married. Take it away. You know, Tom, anybody that wants to get married is an idiot. That's just the bottom line. The only reason I'll pick, piggyback on what Holly the Dyke was saying, the only reason for marriage in my regard, or for me as far as anybody is concerned, would be for hospitalization. If the plug needs to be pulled and I have no parents, I don't want the state to decide that. Of course I would want my girlfriend to decide that. And I would want to be able to visit my girlfriend. My girlfriend's parents don't accept her lifestyle at all. I've never met them. I've been with her for six years years yeah. so if something happens to her basically i'm ab abolished from the hospital yeah well believe me uh, i plan one day to sit down with my attorney as an unmarried individual and uh, set up power of attorney or whatever you structure you have to set up so right. somebody can have the authority to pull the plug if it needs to be pulled i can do that without getting married you know i should just call it an idiot's license uh, well that's right that's exactly <laughs> right an idiot's license that's exactly what they should call it, because anybody that thinks they need one to be happy and to have a fulfilling life is just an idiot. I wish all the guys out there would listen to you. I'm not a guy, but, baby, I listen, and I take heed. You speak the gospel. I know you don't believe in God, but, Tom, he sent you here for a reason, to help all of these people out here. They need you, and I need you. Thanks for the good work you do. I want to go out uh, that guy from Texas that killed his wife, Will, Will Height. Oh, Freddie Wilhite style, of course. Here you go. I shot my wife in the stomach with 38. Why did you do this? She enticed me, and she ridiculed me throughout my lifetime. I'll see if she's alive. She's alive? She's dead. I think she's dead. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Eric on a special edition of Like Us 101. Hello? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay, Eric. Right on. Hey, I was calling in. I'm a lawyer from Orange County, California, and I do a divorce law. And I'm listening to these people. To be their biggest concern has to do with uh, the legal ramifications. And I was telling your uh, your operator, basically, they're subject to the same laws that the heterosexual be subject to, and they can uh, they can go out and get a prenuptial agreement, and that prenuptial agreement can certainly deal with spousal support. With how they uh, how they handle their community property, whether they want it to stay separate property or community property, whether they want to transmute it and make it uh, if it's their separate property, but they've been together for 20 years and they want to make it community property by way of written document, they certainly can do that. 
And, uh, you know, everything is contractual in nature, especially uh, when it deals with, with family law. But, and, but you, know, you know as well as I do in the world of billable hours that uh, you can have, and I've, I know from experience, you can have a prenuptial agreement, and the person you have that agreement with can always threaten to try to overturn it, and even if the odds are they can't overturn it, that could be tens of thousands of dollars in legal fees defending a contract signed by two rational, sober adults. Uh, That's true, Tom, but I've changed it a little bit, and I've taken it, and I make, uh, I do the written, uh, the written agreement, but I also videotape the agreement. Uh, my I, last one was videotaped uh, with a retired judge. Yes, and I videotape it. We go through the question and answer session, and we make sure that everybody understands the document they're executing, that there's no duress, undue influence, anything like that, and. Uh, and then they execute it, and I make the, the videotape and exhibit to the prenuptial agreement so that at any time anybody wants to understand that prenuptial agreement, we have the videotape. But if and somebody chose to try to rock and roll, especially if they were with a person who was a public figure or had uh, some reason that uh, this would cause trouble at their uh, occupation in any way, uh, it wouldn't matter if the odds were they would lose how much would it cost to go to court and go through these motions? Well, that's always the case. But you know what? Now the homosexual community is being subjected to the same rules that the heterosexual Yes, I mean, I, I would agree with you. You should get a prenup. You should have the signing of the prenup videotaped. You should have a retired judge uh, who is credentialed sit there and run through the list of questions on videotape and the answers. Uh, but having said all of that, the, the best and cheapest thing to do is not to get married in the first place. Well, you know, I guess that's true, but... Uh, if but that puts guys like you out of business, and that's why you guys are always recommending marriage with a prenup. Well, yeah, I recommend marriage. I don't always recommend it with a prenup. I mean, it depends on what the people are concerned about. If they're concerned about the legalities of marriage, there's certainly ways to effectuate some kind of protection in the future. If they're really not concerned about the legalities of marriage, then, hey, get married and subject yourself just like everybody else does to the same... To the same laws of the state of California. It's it's torture. It's uh, by the way, there is one state worse. I read about today, Massachusetts. It's worse, huh? Massachusetts alimony is forever. Well, that's that that is not good. You know, in, in California, ten years makes it the long term marriage, and then it can go forever. But you know, in Texas, you have to be married ten years to get alimony. Right. Which so, is yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's an interesting. I learned that we're having a case where I had a person from Texas, and I learned that, that Texas requires ten years of marriage. But yeah, I mean, certainly the uh, the the gay the uh, the gay lesbian community, whatever you want to call it, um, they uh, they are subject to the same laws now that everybody else is subject to, and so they if, if they asked for it, and this is what they prayed for. Now they've got the opportunity to uh, to get married, and if the if the legal concerns are out there, then they should. Uh, protect themselves in the same manner that the heterosexual community No doubt they should. You're right about that, Eric. Thank you for the call. This is Mike on a special gay and lesbian edition of Like Us 101. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, Mike. Um, I was calling because I'm gay and I plan on getting married. And I listen to you all the time. I enjoy your show a lot. And one of the things I learned is I'm definitely going to get a prenup. As a matter of fact, I've already got an attorney and we've already got the contract all written up. Now, does the person you're marrying know you're going to do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's in agreement with it. What's mine is mine, what's his is his, and that's how it's going to be. Mm. But yes. I learned that through you. If it wasn't by listening to your show, I probably wouldn't have done that extra step. Yeah, I have so to do it in California because you'll get killed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. I want to keep my house. Yes. And don't forget, uh, no matter what the attorneys do, be sure to get him to sign a quit claim deed on your house. What is that? That's a, a document that says he will not lay claim to 50% of your house after you're married. Oh, is that? So that's part of the prenup? Uh, it's only, you know, my last prenup said that a quit claim deed would be signed, and then it was signed. Okay. It's a separate right. document. Ask your attorney about it. Boy, oh boy. A lot of people need the professor's help. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Visit our website here, our show streaming live at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.